Let's see what updates GoPro's made in this new firmware update. So let's take a look at our settings, and I'm in the video settings. Uh, first, let's look at white balance. So they added a couple more options here. Uh, we used to have auto, 3000, 5500, and 6500, and also native. Now we have 3000, they added 4000, 4800, and also a 6000. Um, so they added a couple more options here, so that's nice. We have a little more flexibility. Um, a other thing they added to the video settings is a shutter option. So you can actually change your shutter speed for video. In the old version, there's no shutter speed that you could change. So that'll be nice. All right, now let's take a look and see what they changed in the photo settings. So we'll get, go ahead and pr turn Pro 2 and on. The white balance, are gonna be the same changes here. A couple more options in the new version, same changes. And then they also added a couple more options in the ISO and in the old version, version 3, um, you could only set the limit. So 100, 200, 400, 800 ISO limit. Uh, now what you can do is you can set a minimum. So if you want, if you have, you're in a darker situation here, you could set a minimum of 200 and a maximum. Let's say you don't want to overexpose a 400 and the camera will decide uh, which one is best. So this is really nice because in the old version, um, you had to pick, right? So if you're going to take a couple pictures, you had to just decide. Um, now you can have a, a min and a max, so that'll definitely help out when you're out in the field. So the next feature that they, ma they made an adjustment to is the highlight tag. So if we're recording a video and we tag a highlight, it's a nice feature. So you, you, you can tag something that you remember is cool or whatever you want to do, right? So if we go into uh, the display here. Let's go to playback on both the cameras. Um, now you can see how many tags there are. See in the old version it was just showed you that there was a highlight tag. In the new version you can actually see the number of how many highlights there are. If we click on the video, there's a new button up here in the right. See in the old version you, there's just a bar up here. We still have the bar here um, but there's just a bar with one, two, three tags. Um, now we if we go to the new version, version 4, we can hit that button and we can go to that tag. And that's really nice because if you have a half hour video and you're trying to edit on the go on the fly um, and you want to just cut out five seconds of it, now you can just streamline and go right to that highlight tag instead of trying to scroll around in this version. Um, you can skip to the next one, highlight two of three, and then the third of the three. The next feature that they made a change to um, was that you can actually delete a tag. Um, maybe if you you got your five second clip from this third tag here, uh, you can actually delete it. The next feature that they added is in the gallery view, um, so that you can actually filter through what type of media you want to look at. So now in the new version, there's little, three little bars up here for your menu. In the old version, you can only select a video or exit. So if we click on this, um, you can click on all to see everything. You can click on just the videos or the photos, delete, or a slideshow. That's pretty nice if you have a bunch of things and you're trying to sort through something. Um, you, can, you can narrow it down if you want to just see what photo you want to look at or if you want to just look at a video.